Hey everyone, Ryan Canada here with The Start Guys and we have another really incredible story coming your way because as you know, we're on the project of finding 90 stories in 90 days. People finding their big, people uh, identifying their big and telling us how they started, how they went after it and the struggles and, and fears they've encountered along the way. So today I have with me Nancy Boyer. Um, she she just has this really incredible story as we've been talking we've been sitting here for the last hour talking and uh, she has done chaplaincy work so she's been with some of the most hurting people with people in some of their rawest moments of moments of pain and agony and um, you've been there as a as a healing presence and I want people to hear this story because one of the things Nancy talks about is that uh, you know, when I asked her, how, how were you pulled into this work? What, what was behind it? Uh, you said you went in kicking I and screaming. I went in kicking and screaming. And yeah. so I just want to open it up to you. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining us today. And I, I just want to hear from you about your chaplaincy work. And she is retired. She's 70 years old. She gave me permission to share her age. Mm -hmm. But when you hear from her, you get the sense that she's actually just getting started. Uh, so I want to hear the story and how you're continuing that and, and just the presence of your life still today. Ryan, I'd say that my big happened not because it was something I was seeking, but it, I think it was something that God knew I could do. And uh, when I say kicking and screaming, I really mean it. Yeah. Um, I was asked to follow another chaplain at the hospital one night and just kind of see what he did. And as it turns out, I found out I just loved it. So 11 years later of working a 15 hour overnight mm -hmm. shift, um, I met a family in the emergency room that has really shaped what I believe will be the rest of my life. Mm. Um, the situation was there was a football game in Kansas and because I worked in a trauma center we received patients from outside our, our own city. Um, this was a 17 year old kid that was hit in a helmet to helmet hit in a football game. Uh, hold on, I'm going to interrupt just a moment. Uh, just because we're not professionally doing this and have mics and everything if you might want to talk a little louder so okay. our audience can hear because this is such an important okay. story but 17 years old 17 in a football game old. in Kansas helmet to helmet hit yeah medevaced to Swedish hospital and I was on duty that night he came in about seven o'clock at night I guess and his mother had flown with him um, she was absolutely distraught and as soon as I heard it had been helmet to helmet and heard the paramedics uh, talk about what his symptoms were, I knew he was brain dead. It just was classic symptoms. So I took the mom to the side and I said, we need to pray right now. And right there in the middle of the ER with probably a team of maybe 25 doctors and nurses, techs, um, we prayed. Mm -hmm. And there were some of the techs that prayed with us. This boy's dad had been on a business trip in Lake Tahoe, and um, by the time he arrived at the hospital, I was the one that had to tell him that his son was uh, dying. We didn't tell him he was already dead in essence, but we said dying. And he went off in the corner of the mm. ER and just let out the loudest, most blood-curdling scream as if his heart had been ripped out, his soul. Um, I will never forget it. He, yeah. um, oh, he really is the basis for what I feel like God is calling me to do now. Um, Chaplaincy is all about support. It's not about being mm -hmm. ordained. It's about being there for whoever, whether they have a faith or not. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's just, you just have to be available. And, and I love how you describe it. It's all about the support because 
we know that it's not about going into that family and getting all the answers. It's not about religion. Yes, it's yes. Religion. Say more about that. Say more about that. I had so many people that would say, oh, I hate the word religion. Yeah. And I said, you know what? I hate it too. Um, what, what I like is what's in your heart. Yeah. I know what's in my heart. Yep, yep. And where are you with what's going on? And then we could start a relationship. Yeah. And once we had that relationship going, I was able to assess what level of support they needed. And, yeah. and you know, I just wonder how many of you all can identify with exactly what Nancy was describing is you get pulled into this thing and, and you go in kicking and screaming and it's like you don't want to do this. You don't feel like you have what it takes. Yeah. You don't feel competent. Um, but then you actually learn once you get into it for a while, you learn yeah. this is exactly who I am, this is who I'm called to be. And I think that's, yeah. when we're talking about finding your big, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Finding who you are and who you were created to be and finding and it, your path. It is not something I ever envisioned I'd be doing at this point in my life. Yeah, and, and tell us a little bit about, so we already said you're, you're of course retired from chaplaincy, but it's still a piece of who you are. It is. Talk to us a little oh, bit about absolutely. that. absolutely. Just, um, I think I need to be the kind of person that is um, able to hear someone's pain, able to give that hug when yeah. necessary. Sometimes it's just a hand on a shoulder. Yep. Um, it's eye contact. It's um, saying, you know, you are loved. Mm -hmm. God loves you. I love you. Mm -hmm. And when God is in your heart, you can share that. Yeah. And that's that's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, when we're talking about the big, that's so simple, right? Yeah, it Th is this simple. isn't like I didn't go rocket to school science for this. here, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you talked about eye contact and yeah. a hand on the shoulder yeah. or a hug. I mean, yeah. these are simple things, but that's your big yeah. and that's who you are and yeah. if you know Nancy at all uh, I'm gonna encourage people to get to know Nancy if you if you have that opportunity when I'm she's, home when, when she's home <laughs> she's always traveling seven years old and just getting started and we just talked to uh, her husband Greg who's over here as well uh, they are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary next year uh, and they just travel all over the world and they truly do when you're around them they exude this uh, this uh, this way of life of loving others of loving the people they're around and and you model relationship and man the yeah. world needs more of that we have been healed ourselves yes yes and what we learned from being healed we can give mm. it's easy wow it was so powerful so if you're sitting here watching this story today hearing this story I encourage you uh, think outside of your box. Go to the places where you're actually uh, doing a little bit of kicking and screaming because that can of oftentimes be the most powerful place. That can be where you find that thing that's been uh, welling in here and in your gut and something really amazing happens and, and that's your big and it's often in the simple. And I didn't know. God knew. Yeah, yeah. So you had to trust it yeah. and that's a little risky. It's very risky. That's kind of scary, isn't it? Very. Who am I? Who yeah. am I to go there? Yeah. Who are you not to go I there? I found out who am I not to go yes, there. Yes, exactly. Yes. Thank you for being with us today, Nancy. You're welcome. Thank you all.